because of COVID-19 and people needing to spend 24 seven together for weeks upon end, which let's face it is just not normal for any relationship. And, uh, a lot of people are, are starting to doubt their relationship because of it, right? But let me just first assure you, nobody could handle, I don't care how great you are together, to be together 24 seven, week after week after week after week with no social interaction that you can't go out, you can't go to the gym, you can't like get space. Because space is great for a relationship. I mean, you really need space. It makes you appreciate your relationship more, right? Like, you know, if you're together all the time, what do you talk about? Because you've experienced everything together, like I've always said that. But then, yeah, this pandemic has caused us to be alone. And most people that I talk to are so tired of, of watching the news. It's, it's just like, it's frustrating. They don't want to watch the news anymore. There's no sports. You know, if you're a sports fan, I'm a sports fan. I've always said I'm happy as long as I have something to look forward to. And if you're a sports fan, there's always something to look forward to. But like, that's not even true right now. I mean, it's really a very difficult time to go through. So if you're doubting your relationship with your partner, but you weren't before this whole thing started, then hang in there and stop focusing on the bad, but write a gratitude list. Really, pen on paper, write down the things that you're grateful for. And let me tell you, if you have a relationship, be grateful for that. Because I've talked to far too many people who are so really at a breaking point because they've been alone through this whole thing. They've not had a partner. They've not had physical touch at all. They've been by themselves. So even if your partner's driving you crazy, be grateful that you have a partner. And if you can't find genuine things that you're grateful for, then maybe you are in the wrong relationship. And you know, this whole situation has put relationships under a microscope. And I promise you, there's gonna be a lot of people that are like, yeah, I'm done with you. Like they need that space, they need that fresh air, basically, right? Like no pun intended. So before you throw out a relationship, let's get through this pandemic and get out and be social again. I promise you, it's so good for the soul. It's so good for the soul to be able to get out whatever state you're in, wherever level of, of you know red or green or yellow you're in, get out around other people, take some time apart from each other, and then really go out on a date, right? You've been stuck at home. Everybody's been in their like sweats and workout clothes and pajamas and really comfy and you know, put on some makeup put on a nice outfit and go out and, and try to just reconnect with each other again on a social level, away from the like, you know, frustration of being cooped up together because human touch is just so important. And that connection of just knowing that someone cares about you and that they're there and that you're your best friend is a really huge thing. So, don't take that for granted. You started with each other for a reason. Try to refine that reason. And if it's truly not there, because look, people grow in different directions. If this whole situation made you realize that there's a lot about your partner that you just don't have in common, then yeah, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it is time to call it quits. But I, I think it's impossible to spend 24 seven, week after week after week with somebody and not get tired of them. And that doesn't mean that you're in a wrong relationship. It just means that you need to find other outlets because your relationship should never be your be all end all anyway. I'm Donna Barnes. Don't forget to subscribe and like or share my videos or leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if you need personalized help, I am available for private coaching.